Well, this morning we are grateful to have uh, a graduate MBA class of 1982, Mayor David Briley. Uh, he is a native Nashvillian. He uh, went to Glendale Elementary School and then Lipscomb and then MBA. He earned his bachelor's degree from Georgetown uh, University and then he traveled to Latin America and I was interested as a number of you uh, are, he became fluent in Spanish. Uh, when he was down in Latin America where he was volunteering as a teacher. And I, I know from listening to him recently at the Scholastic Arts Awards where he and I both were a couple of weeks ago that he appreciates education and particularly the arts. Uh, so he was, elected to he was elected to Metro Council in 1999. He served on that for a number of years. He became vice mayor and uh, then in March of 2018 he was sworn in as our mayor, ran in a special election and won that and, and he's here today to talk a little bit about our city. Please welcome back to MBA, Mayor David Briley. I, I was joined by my entourage uh, they are my psychiatrists in case I have a moment of PTSD this morning. Uh, my MBA experience uh, <laughs> was intense for me. It's good to see uh, uh, the, the, the changes here uh, and I, I keep track of this school with great pride. When I began here 44 years ago uh, the ball building lacked air conditioning. I mean, it, the windows went up. That's how we stayed cool when I got here. Uh, I've looked at the curriculum and uh, it is certainly more varied and appropriate for today's world than it was when, when I was here, although I feel uh, the education I got here really prepared me well. And uh, one of the things I am most proud of for, for my alma mater is that when I began here, in 1975, this school had never had an African American student. And I see that this place has made great progress in that regard. I'm proud of that. Uh, I have notable memories from sitting in assembly, uh, much like you will when you leave. Uh, one of which is, because we met in the, the old study hall when I was here, um, a, a woman came to give us a speech about public speaking. And uh, it was interesting, her perspective on it, I, I wish I could remember her name, was about how she had lost her ability to speak con contemporaneously. Uh, she had been a public speaker her whole life and um, trained public speakers and her memory was starting to fade. And so she no longer could, from memory, recite anything. Uh, and I will, I, for some reason, that has stuck with me. Uh, I'm going to circle back to that in just a minute. I hope that my experience with you and your experience with me today will leave some mark on you. Let me tell you about my life in the last year. Uh, about one week uh, ago, I marked my one year anniversary as mayor. I learned I would be mayor uh, on a bus. I dropped my car off at the shop and I liked to ride the bus so I was riding it downtown to my office, law office, where I was practicing law. I was part-time vice mayor and part-time lawyer. And somebody I trusted sent me a text and said, you're going to be mayor this afternoon. And the difference between vice mayor and mayor is big. It is a, it is a big shift. Um, but I look back at my experience here at MBA and know that many of the things I learned here prepared me for that moment. A sense of respect for others, a great education, a certain calmness about life, and the ability to process information and make good decisions. All of that I started to learn here. And I know you are as well. I'm going to tell you six things you need to be thinking about because you are all the future leaders of this city. These are six things that your generation, much like my generation, is going to have to confront. First, I want to talk to you about good things. 
Um, Nashville is growing like crazy. Uh, we have just in the last year announced more than 6,600 new, very high paying jobs coming to Nashville. And that is going to continue to happen. You are going to have opportunities to succeed here in Nashville. Uh, the second thing is that wage growth in Nashville is, in the last year, fourth in the country. Only Seattle, San Francisco, and Silicon Valley had higher wage growth. So we're going to get better jobs in Nashville in the years that come. Four challenges. The literacy rate at our public schools for third graders is less than a third. Less than 30% actually are ready, are reading at grade level in third grade. So as leaders of this place, you should see that as a fundamental challenge to the success of our community and start to think about what you're going to do about it. There's even more complicated. More Nashville public school students go to Nashville State Community College than any other post-secondary institution. But for kids in poverty, their completion rate is under 10%. Many of them just because they can't afford a book, the books. You all need to be thinking, what am I going to do about that as an adult leading this community? Gentrification is undermining folks' belief in the Nashville enterprise. In certain parts of our town, economic prosperity is driving communities out of places they have lived for decades. What are you going to do to try and help those folks stay where they are? Because the Nashville enterprise, everybody's prosperity, everybody's success, depends on everybody believing that they have a chance to succeed. Then the last one, and the most complicated. I ask you, if you have time in the next few weeks, to go look at the river downtown. It is at a really high level, and it is going to stay that way for weeks, if not months. It's because upriver at Lake Cumberland, we have stored more water as a country than we have ever stored before. And the Corps of Engineers and I believe that it is attributable to climate change. And what it's going to require of us in the future, what it's going to require of us in terms of investments to make sure that we are in a position to continue to prosper and be safe is going to be extraordinary. We had a big flood downtown in 2010. Many of you might not even remember it, but it changed the economic direction of this community for many years. We cannot afford to have that happen periodically and still be prosperous as a community. And it's going to require us to invest unprecedented amounts of money to address the changes associated with climate change. Each of you is in many ways more privileged and have more opportunities than any other generation that has, ever, that has preceded you. But you also have bigger challenges, I would say, than any other generation that has sat in this room. So as much as you are committed, I know each and every one of you is committed to working hard and advancing yourselves and finding a way to succeed and be prosperous, you are already on that path. I, as the mayor of your city, am here to challenge you today to add to that list a greater focus on making sure that we as a community, that we as a group, that we as a culture find ways to lift up more people, find a way to have more people succeed. Because it is not only the right thing to do, it is the smart thing to do if you want to see this place succeed in the years to come. I am proud to be a graduate of Mon Montgomery Bell Academy, and I know you all will be soon too. Thank you.